hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to import microsoft excel coordinates into the google earth pro directly so i have the set of data observed by my team so i wasn't on site with them so they gave me this data as their field observations so i want to confirm if it perfectly falls within the said site all right so you may actually be in this position as well that you want to fact check your field observations that you exported from your GNSS receivers or your total stations. All right, so if you have your data in the Cartesian instance nothings, just like what you are seeing on the screen, there will be a need for you to convert into the longitude and latitude format. All right, so you can just drop your request under the comment section and I'll provide a video uh, in that regard. So this is the readable format by Google Earth Pro. So you are expected to tablet your data this way, then you save as comma delimited, alright? You save it as CSV comma delimited here. So after you save that as comma delimited, you click on save, alright? And uh, you close the Excel worksheet. Therefore, you come to your Google Earth Pro. So I want to know where it falls within the states, alright? Then you come to file. You scroll down to import click on import click on this drop down here so you can see the different formats you can import survey data into google earth pro so if you have saved your file as command delimited.csv you click on this generic test but to be on the server side you can click on all files all right so all of the files in your folder will be displayed then you can now scroll down to your microsoft excel survey data and here it is in my case so when you select the file then you click on open it will bring out this data import wizard if yours is on fixed width click on delimited let it be on comma option then if this test encoding is not utf8 click on this drop down then check that although it is going to automatically read the excel data and it's going to have all this on default so there's nothing much to do here except you do a mistake by you know swiping on something else you click on this and you make sure it is utf8 all right then you click on next so here you can see the latitude feed has been latitude so in case yours is not latitude make it latitude let it tally with the latitude feed let the longitude tally with the longitude feed you don't need to check this except you don't have your data in longitude and latitude if you have just the street address that is the name of the uh, locations you check this box but i have the coordinates so you make sure that is unchecked all right then here you click on next so all this id it is string longitude is floating point latitude is floating point so you leave it on default then you click on finish make sure your system is connected to an active internet then it will ask you to apply a style template then you click on yes so you can now choose a particular template so you set the name field based on the id of your uh, excel data so i want it to be id so i want it to show each id point for me to know what description is attached to each coordinate come to color you can actually use a particular color to denote the uh, points icon so let me go with yellow yellow is visible then click on ok this icon you can choose to you know make use of any icon of interest but let me go with this then the height okay if you want if there's elevations attached to your data you actually you know set height from the field but i don't have the height uh, data so there's no need for that so i'll just make sure it is clam features to ground so this is what you have to do here then you click on ok Automatically, it's going to lead you to you know, save the Google Earth style templates you have just created. So you just take note of the folder. So I'm just going to put it on my YouTube folder. All right, then you click on save. So automatically, it's now going to lead you to the location of the site. So if it is not yet appearing, all right. 
there will be a need for you to check the box of the Microsoft coordinates. Check the box and you can see the coordinates at their respective positions. So let me just check the road features. Okay, so these are the sets of data by team observe on ground and uh, they're actually a topographic data so you can see everything at their respective positions. So, so if you're not comfortable with this uh, green icon that comes with the coordinates of each point, all right, you can just select the uh, data on that layer here, you right click, click on properties, then you click on style and color, then you click on share style. So if you bring out these options, click on this particular icon here. Then you can change it to any icon of interest. So let me go with this. Then I'm just going to reduce the size for it not to be bigger than the test. All right, so it is okay this way. Then you click on okay and okay. So this is how to import coordinate from Excel to Google Earth Pro directly. If you find this video helpful and informative, do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial freely. Thank you. See you in the next video.